spawn. Oh, uh, come to Blackwater. Okay, so we'll slow down like right about here and then I'm going to show you the map. <coughs> Pull your map out. You see where the A and the B is, this is what I call the AB field. They spawn also on this side of this road a lot of times. There's like rocks in through here. No. Um, right over here, you can like go down this little place to the river. Um, a lot of them spawn like up here. Okay, sometimes we're right here. Um, I usually go down the river, you know, right? And I go over here to climb up here. And at the top of that hill, if you come up from the river, kind of slow, and you listen, and you're looking and stuff, you'll see them. But sometimes they spawn. This is what I call the quail house. Um, we're gonna I'll walk around and hunt some quail. Now use your eagle eye. Uh, I usually push down L3, R3 at the same time and just kind of look around and listen. You hear a snake. You gotta listen for the little sounds. Well, we'll go over here to the road first. I usually ride through here whenever we deliver wagons just to, just to listen. They're not always here, but the AB field, this place, this is most popular, I, it seems, for them to pop up. I'll check this side of the road first, and then we'll go back around. I'll, sh I'll show you more when we're done. I'm just running e eagle eye and listening. Looking, looking for the little glowy, tiny birds. Like, uh, this is kind of a go down the little area, but I don't usually go down that one, but like you can. Listen over here is the main one. Oh, another snake, you hear it? You gotta listen for the sounds. Rain said he found some down there by the water, too. Let's go back out to the middle a little bit and then we'll go down to the river. another snake. Anyway, okay, let's go down here and go across the river. Kind of slow down so I can, because you don't want to go too fast. You might scare them away. Oh, listen, look, there's some right in front of us. They they went into the bushes. Eagle Eye, look for their trail. Listen for them. See it? See them? See them? Right over here. They're crossing the road. 
See him? Eagle eye. Small game arrow. Over here too. Get down. Off your horse. Look, there's two of them right there. By the, right in front of me. Get them. Eagle eye paint. Or I guess you don't have to paint, but... See it? See another one? Oh, did you miss it? You did. Now I feel bad because I think the others despawned because we went too far away from them. <sighs> I forgot they despawn easy. Sorry. All right, let's see. And then this right over here is where they, you know, poke. They, like they, they, they're like right around this little. Right here is where they spawn. But uh, they're kind of fast a little bit. But if you kind of come up on them, you can kind of see their little group kind of spread out, and you can kind of get an idea. Of how quick you need to move, but I, I apologize for uh, letting them despawn. Now let's go over here too. Because um, they s sometimes spawn over here. It's a skunk. Let's go back to the Great Plains. Here, you know what? We'll, we'll go back up the way we came earlier. Maybe they'll respawn. Or spawn out for us. Okay, now here we come. Uh, now we slow down and kind of listen and look. You eagle eye, listen and look. That's what. That's how you hunt them. Okay, I'm gonna open the map. <laughs> open the map. Alright, so this is the AB field and then the bird house, or the ha uh, quail house area. That's what I, that's the main go to, close to black water, fast travel, and all that. Okay. So down here are some rocks. And they spawn out there too. Now I've got them around in here. Got the video, getting them by Quaker's Cove. Just now, whenever we did camp, I got them right in here. Uh, we'll go. We'll go here first. Actually, hang on. Let's go this way. I've actually gotten them by Pronghorn Ranch too, or whatever this place is called, I think it's Pronghorn Ranch. I've gotten them by this fence that we're coming upon. I've gotten them by the fence over here. But they uh, also oops, jump right along in here. Let's see, up here, I, I, I found a little, little bunch right up here one time. Alright, we'll go to the waypoint. Oh, I hear him! Stop! Get off your horse. Look and look, listen, listen, look. Oh, hear it? You see the little trail? It flew? I see two, three of them. I'm full on them, so uh, 
they fill up the table, but I you find a lot of them too, so your pocket fills up. You picking them up perfect, uh, I suppose. I think that one was a three star. Good job. All right, see you, Pronghorn Ranch. All right, let's go over to the waypoint. I'm listening at the same time, right? <laughs> I know I'm running fast, but you still gotta listen and look. You wanna do that mission first? Let's go do that mission. Indiana? It's below Lake Michigan. Thanks. <coughs> Alright. I'm looking and listening. I know it's really kind of loud with the rain. Here's the rocks. Uh, this is this quail, quail home right here. And it's not like just one spot that they spawn, but like they're in the area, you know what I mean? You kind of just trot around looking and listening. Let's look down here where I've found them before. Rabbits. Let's look like by, by Quaker Cove over here. I think this is where I found them earlier. I saved a video clip. I'm gonna post it later. Oh yeah, down here I found them too along the edge of the water. Uh, when I come over this hill right here and look down, I usually... Oh, cougar. Cougar. There it is. Two of them. I got this one. Oh, there's that one. Got it. Ah, oh, it's three star. I'm putting my wagon. Or no, I need it on the table. What am I talking about? You want to get this one? I'll I'll carry it if I need to. But
I'll put it on your horse. If it'll let me. Yep. It's a one, but... Oh well. I'm gonna drop some quail on the table too. I need some... I need room in my pocket to pick some up. Halted. Oh, my goods are ready. Supplies are looking healthy right now. Good stuff. Very nice. Beautiful. That's top notch. If you want to put a couple on the table and see how they jump up, each one makes it jump, jump, jump. Just a couple is good. Unless you need room <laughs> in your pocket. Alright. Uh. I might save the table for in the morning when more people are on. How many? 30. I usually try to go down to 20 at least. 15 is real good. Let's see, let's look up here. I see a little glowy thing, I don't know what it is. It looks like maybe a rabbit. It's a possum, whatever. Oh, whoops, sorry. Now along the edge over here of the water, kind of near the edge. I've got videos, let me find them. See, this person might be looking for quiet. <laughs> Oh, look at the map. Uh, so whenever you come out of Blackwater over here, and you come up, like, um, sometimes there's a, some people that do a duel on this side of the road. I don't remember if it's on this side of the house or over here, but, like, whenever I come out of Blackwater through this road, I'm always looking over here, or uh, in, in here. So I'll just kind of pretty much all along the edge down here. This is where I'm like trying to travel. So you just kind of we'll go towards Blackwater and look and listen. I don't know if any will pop out, but we'll see. Squirrels, perfect squirrels are good too. hear all the squirrels. Oh, right, with the squirrels, you gotta make sure you hit the body and not the tail. It'll ruin it. Yeah, see, they, they, they down here, they're, they're up. Yeah, I come out here and then just kind of veer off to the left into the field and eagle eye and look. Coming up towards this house. I find them up in here sometimes. Let's see. Let me look at the map and see where else. <clears throat> I want to show you on the map. Uh, I've found quail up in here. Um, uh, and also, I found them along here going out towards when we're delivering towards um, McFarland's ranch. Um, I've found quite a Mar a Hendigan steed. I've found some out here by the inn. Um, I find them out in here. Sometimes by the Harriet lady. Over in Armadillo the other day, I found one, uh, a little group up above Armadillo. And then. When you're going out towards the madam sometimes out in there. Uh, 
Up by Tumbleweed, when you're going towards Benedict Point. Uh, I found a little group right here the other day. Um, over at Emerald Ranch. Uh, uh, I saw them at the H. Yep. Um, okay, uh, at the ranch, let's see. Okay, going, um, if I'm running along these train tracks, right, I'll go over a little bridge, and, uh, like right by these rocks here, and then I'll go, like, go out into the field up here and look around all the way along here, especially right by this farm. Who's here? Who's stalking? Oh, this person being totally rude. <clears throat> um, let's go to Emerald Station. Let's go to the fast travel. I don't know that person. What? Oh. I don't know if they want to fight or what. Let's uh, go up these tracks and off to the right and listen. I use my eagle eye a lot when I travel around because I'm looking for bucks uh, and quail. remember the rocks. I think it's farther up ahead, but I'm just gonna... Yeah, right up in the air is real good. Usually. I just like to just trot along. And I'm coming towards this ranch. See smoke over there? I usually come from this direction and like right over here in front of us, these bushes by these trees. Oh, there's some. Good job. That's that's one of my spots right there. Right along in here. Bunch of rabbits over here all the time. Skunks too. I, I usually come over here and check the the pin because I sedate you know, the animals to trade in the sets. Um, one of the hardest bulls to find is over is spawns over here. Full. 
Oh, good. Did you see my video I posted of me having 10 of every every one and then plus all of them stamped? I don't know if you've seen that one yet. When you sell them to her though, try to sell like all nothing but the mountain animals and then nothing but the farm animals uh, instead of like just going each row because you'll end up breaking her and then you'll have to figure out what you need for each set and blah blah blah. But at least you can do a set and trade it in and a set and trade it in. Yeah. Um, let me see. Let me look on the map. I have found quail by the oil fields over here. Right next to that dig. Um, I've found them riding through here. Uh, let's see. We'll Just the fields, uh, really. I think you said the H. I've found some over there too. I think. Going down the tracks south of Emerald Ranch, I found them the other day. Or a few days ago. Oh, another good area is over by this inn over here. There's a rock right, right here. I usually go around this rock. Um, uh, these train tracks. Going along the train tracks, going up on the side here. If I sit at El Rock, I found them. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's let's go into this uh, field over here. Oh, yeah, it's daytime. Come back over here. I'll see if they respawn or not. They spawn real good in private sessions, but look at this. They're, they're kind of spawning out for us. No, they're not every spot, every time. Usually in the area. Do you know this guy who joined us? Let me see his rank. 127. I don't know what he wants. Okay. Is that a buck? Two star. Oh, is this is this a house? Let's see. Where's the house? Isn't in the side of the house? In the <coughs> the house? Oh, here. It is. Yeah, it's right in front of us. Right in through here. See these big, huge rocks up here in front of us? Right along here. Like whenever we go, we, when we cut through the fields and stuff, when we're delivering wagons, I'm always listening and looking. Oh, let's see, let's go back towards the waypoint. Yeah, because one time whenever I was going, I was just coming here. I was just riding through here and I heard him on the left over here. And they came up this hill. I don't see any. I don't hear any. <laughs> they're always around. I'm trying to look for quail. You see birds. Oh, they're doing. Oh, hear him? To the left. Right here. I heard him. Listen. Oh, yep. Good job. I don't see any either. Oh, you can still listen for him. Go ahead and pick it up for despawn. Oh! 
I don't know. Well, at least we got one over here. See, see that wagon? Where is it? At? Where's that wagon at? That broke down wagon. I don't know. We might have passed it up. I don't know. Oh, look, there's the oil field. See? This big field. Oh, more horse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's. Oh, <laughs> you can ride with me. I don't care. Yeah. Alright, let's go this way. Nice. Is he in between these big, huge, mountainous. Like, what is this called? I don't know. Caliban Seat or some shit. I don't fucking know. Like, when you come through here going towards the oil fields, it's like, okay, go to the left on the field and listen. Look at this duck on the ground. Coming upon the train tracks. So we'll go towards Valentine and kind of listen along here. Alright, let's go on the other side of the tracks and go back down that way. Because down by Flatneck, when you're crossing the tracks and stuff, they're over there too. Um, when we come upon these little dotted line roads, that's kind of by the inn on the map, so... Like within those areas where the dotted lines are. Oh, whoop. De drop off. Oh, I see that there's a dotted line. I found them in these woods before. Let me look at the map. I, I gotta see where I'm at. Yeah. Now let's go out here. Oh, right here, here. When we come over this little road right here, and I go straight, I usually go straight. We're running right through a quail spot right here. I found him a few days ago. I don't see any. Um, let's see where I'm at. I'm trying to get my bearings. I want to go down by the water. Let me, let me look at the map and see where we're going. Okay. Let's go down the tracks and then turn right. See that rock down there? I found I found some by this rock. I think this is the rock. Found some down here once. Found some on the 
um, shore down closer to flat neck but along this field this wide open field I usually kind of look around and listen I've, I've found them on the edge of the bank before too let's see what it is three star bug all right pretty much making my way back over to the quail house and back up into the AB field and then we'll be back at Blackwater and I'll be done. Uh, I think part of it is learning the technique of hunting them. Uh, learning the sound you're listening for. Um, learning to know what you're looking for, I guess, to, like little bitty birdies, you know, on the ground glowing whenever you use your eagle eye. And uh, not going, try to be careful, too, not to run right into them. Sometimes it happens, you know, and then they fly and they get spread out and you lose them. But when you're actually knowing you're hunting for them, to try to trot more. But, and again, you know, whatever, running is fine. They kind of tell you that they're there by making noise. That's why you gotta listen. Some of my videos, I call it, you gotta listen. They sing to me, my little birdie, my little, I don't know, something like that. They sing to you, they tell you, I'm right here, I'm right here. Uh, right, right down here by this rock I found some once. I came out here, I'm like, I'm gonna look for some quail. Oh, there they are! <laughs> this rock. This is, uh, yeah. I don't see any. Oh, my, oh. I think he died. Alright, let's go cross this river and go up the road towards the quail house. Now right over here, if you eagle eye, I usually eagle eye coming up this hill because right here on the left, sometimes there's one. But I don't see it, it's not there. Now up here I call this my, this is also a buck spot, so I like kind of slow down. You see there's where this road kind of tees off right here? Look towards the water, look at the bank. Look, there's a there's something down there. You see the animal? Eagle eye. Oh, slow down, you scare it. What is it? Is it a buck? Sometimes, it's, I call it my buck spot too. Let's see what it is. It's two star buck. Get that and put it on the table. Use your regular size arrow and hit it in the head. Sometimes it'll lift its head because it's drinking water and it'll lift its head look and put its head back down. What? Oh, that's going on a video clip. That was hilarious.
And then I come over here and trot and look for the quail. At the quail house. And then I go but down towards the river. Sometimes there's a squirrel out here. I don't see any. They're not there. But remember, there's some over here sometimes too. Gotta listen and eagle eye. Oh, hear it, hear it. Slow down. See him? Good job! Sometimes I go up to Riggs station right up here and then come back and sometimes they respawn if I'm trying to get them to spawn out. Alright, let's go down the little river. Down across the river. That deer right there, it's usually there sometimes. Sometimes it's a three. Okay, we're gonna come up here and I slow down as I come up because I want to hear them before I get too close to them to scare them because they'll make noise. We're checking the AB field. This is the AB field. That's what I call it. Check over here and then we'll go back. I don't see nothing. I think the card unblinking eye would be good for this if you're hunting, because it'll give you a lot longer in the dead eye or not dead eye eagle eye all right I don't see nothing all right I don't want to fast travel with my buck because it's a three star so I'm just gonna head to camp but I'm gonna go through Blackwater and up that hill over there See right here, and then I go over into the field and look. Looking and listening. That's how you do it. I usually, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just something you listen for, or like, oh, I hear quail, you know, and you like, get my, get my bow out and try to find them, and it's fun. Especially once you get the hang of it, because it's like, ooh, that was quail. And Sal Pika sometimes thinks he hears them, I don't think he hears, he hears sounds, but he, he, needs, he has to learn the sound. Because there's also sounds in the game that's just, I don't know, sound effects instead of an actual sound of an animal that's in the game that we get. But. Let's see how much room I got. Oh, I'm not putting the buck on there. I waste it. <coughs> Alright. 
Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm glad you found some quail. You turned into a boss leader as, uh... You got something good for me? Hey, you know, we c I could probably check my moonshine. I'll join you. Let's see what's going on. Maybe you got room on your table. I can put this buck. Eagle eye listening, look. Hey look, you kinda in quail territory over here, huh? Oh, got three. Just now. Supplies are good, I'm a happy man. That was good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> yep, you see where you're at? You're all along you're along that coast coming up. You're in the field instead of on the road. Yeah, yeah by that H. And Elizabeth. Yeah, that's, I put a video the other day on it. What do you think of our little, I don't know, hangout session, hunting session? Did you think it was helpful? <laughs> Great, <laughs> that's wonderful. If you have moonshine, I don't mind doing any, doing some with you. I'll help you deliver it. <laughs> Quail hunter? You can have a shirt that says, Got Quail? Instead of got milk, <laughs> carry a bow. <laughs> 